Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be installing new Harley Davidson grips by Rizoma. So without wasting too much time, let's get to it. Alright guys, let's do a quick unboxing. As you can see, um, Harley Davidson by Rizoma. Alright, so the grips. Uh, this is a, uh, a clutch side. It's, it's a little bit shorter. And brake side. So quick comparison between the two, so you get an idea. Okay. Instructions. Screws uh, for the end caps. Right, there's two on each side. <clears throat> and a double-sided uh, sticky tape for the clutch side. All right, let's go ahead and install it. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, the, the switch plate. There's two screws top and bottom. The switch plate is off. Uh, basically, we're just gonna try to see if I can slide this thing out without taking off uh, the mirror. All right, so what I uh, wound up having to do is I had to loosen up a top screw on the uh, brake assembly and it gave me just enough wiggle room to uh, get the uh, grip out. So let's go ahead and install the new one. It's a quick note, uh, if you take a look here, you will see a little notch. Make sure you line this up. Um, also be careful about this uh, brake light switch, this little white button, okay? And also look at the position of the uh, throttle handle. The bar and shield positioning the line kind of goes around and then down all right all right here are the uh, retaining screws for the end caps uh, that comes the kit you only need two of them for each side and uh, there's two extras all right the throttle uh, handles installed let's do a uh, clutch side that one will require cutting um, of the old uh, rubber handle and installing a new one. All right, so same story here. Uh, we're going to remove the top plate, uh, loosen up the, the clutch grip, move it out of the way um, to get to this uh, grip here.
Uh, also, once I uh, cleaned it up with uh, the knife, I used a little bit of a sandpaper uh, to smooth out the handle, make sure there's no glue left on it, no, no rubber. Uh, now, what you have to do is uh, you have to put a handle on before you put a, a, a double-sided tape on. Measure the distance be between the end of the handle, make sure the, the handle is fully seated to the end. Measure the distance, make sure the switch box is right up against uh, this handle, okay? Once you measure it and everything looks good, tighten everything up and let's get to putting a uh, double-sided tape on. double-sided tape which by the way is a four by six right around a quarter of an inch uh, free space on each side what you probably want to do is and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, measure about a quarter of an inch from the outside of the of the handle I'm going to take a 90 degree uh, angle and, and draw a straight line where I'm going to start my tape that way uh, as you start wrapping it it doesn't bunch up and it doesn't start sliding to one side or the other, okay? It'll just keep things, uh, uh, yeah, more precise. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're only going to take the bottom portion off, keep the top one on. That way we can start, like I said, about a quarter of an inch out. And start carefully wrapping. And as soon as you get to this point, basically start unwrapping the, the top portion of it so you don't overlap paper with double-sided tape, okay? Take your time, make sure it's not wrinkling as you are wrapping it, all right? All right, so the tape is on. What I'm going to do now is I have a, uh, an alcohol and water solution. It's a 70-30, 70 water, 30 alcohol. I'm going to liberally spray this. It'll deactivate the glue uh, for a very short period of time. It'll give me a little while to basically work with the handle to work it on, okay? And um, I make sure you get it nice and straight. As I mentioned before, uh, watch the lines of the handle uh, barn shield is uh, rotating, so you, you can adjust this later. Don't worry about this. Basically, what you want is is the uh, the line facing top and the bottom towards you with this little curve. All right. So here we go. All right, once it's on, uh, you don't want to touch this for, uh, well, the manual says about four hours trying not to twist this thing, so just basically kind of leave it alone. Um, and the last thing we have left to do is basically just check the bar and shield uh, direction. I already made sure it's nice and straight. So just put two screws on the bottom, tighten it up, and you're done.
All right, guys, so that was a quick uh, and pretty straightforward install of uh, Harley-Davidson Grips by Rizoma. Hopefully this video was useful to some of you. If you liked the video, please don't forget to uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care.